solve for x. This is kind of a funky looking problem. First, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So e to the x plus e to the negative x equals 6. Now, um, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to multiply this right here. I'm going to rewrite this. What's e to the negative x the same as? 1 over e to the x. Good. Now, if I multiply everything by e to the x, why would I want to do that, you ask? Because then I'll have e to the 2x plus 1 equals 6 e to the x. And this can be turned into a quadratic type problem. Because now if I substitute u in here, I'm going to let u equal e to the x. If I let u equal e to the x, I get u squared minus 6u plus 1 equals 0. They can't factor it. You can't factor it, but it still has, it, you can solve for it, even if it doesn't factor. How would you solve for, how do you solve for quadratic? Government. If it doesn't factor? Quadratic formula or completing the square, which actually wouldn't be hard in this case. So let's practice completing the square since you guys need to know how to do that anyway. Take half of that, which is negative 3, and square it. And you get what? Positive 9, and also subtract 9. And now factor this right here. So that's u minus 3 squared. Got it? Yeah. Equals, let's move that negative 8 over, equals positive 8. So now u equals, sorry, u minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 8. The square? Oh. Square root of 8, I got rid of the square. And now add 3 to both sides. So what's my answer? u equals 3, because this was a negative 3 here, so I have to add it. Square. This is just plus or minus the square root oh, okay. of 8. Yeah, that's a plus, a it's a plus or minus. Don't forget that there's two solutions for this. Yeah. So it's plus or minus the square root of 8. So your answer is positive 3 plus or minus the square root of 8. But remember, that's e to the x, not x. Okay. So e to the x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 8, which means x equals the natural log of 3 plus or minus the square root of 8. Okay. Now, do both of those answers work? I don't know, you gotta plug them in. Plug these ones in for x. First of all, are they both positive? That's the first question. 3 plus or minus the square root of 8. What's 3 plus the square root of 8? The square root of 8 is smaller than 3, right? So 3 minus the square root of 8 is still a positive number. So these both can, can work, potentially. Let's make sure they do by plugging them into there to see if you're allowed to use your calculator to see if they work. If you're not allowed to use your calculator, you're just going to have to trust that that's the right answer.